So that was a bit of snow we got on the ground today, a difference from yesterday. We had ice pellets, I missed out on that. Rain, wind, and cold today. And when I did view the lake from Queen Street, it looked very, very active. And, uh, lost three white caps and gray and everything. The wind's at my back, so I don't mind walking so far. Instead of taking the streetcar. I shouldn't take the streetcar where I gotta go anyway, but I often do. Oh, now this is really sad. It's dated the 10th of January, and so this notice of distress bailiff notice is, well, long due, and they were only given five days uh, for the amount of $14,524.80 in rent arrears. Well, all the storefronts on Queen Street are going, um, are going empty because the rents are getting so high, even East End or West End, but look how few, I was just thinking as I walked by, because I used to walk by here and think, one day if I, I don't know if I came into some money, like earned money, uh, or, um, uh, did well or something, that I would come into this store and get her to redesign my place. Now looking at it, obviously it just looks like junk, but it's not. She had the most beautiful, colorful displays and the elegance, great taste, and I'm kind of sad I never walked into the store. I was too intimidated to go into the store when it was all set up nicely. That, that's really too bad. Vibrant colors she had. She was in the Wall Street Journal. I mean, she is known as... Well, she probably still is elsewhere. What a shame. And obviously the place is... Yeah, it's been over a month. Look at that, eh? This is a curious bookshop that's open at various times. I once bought a book of Anne Sexton's Transformations. Although I have her complete works, it was great to get that book in a single form, an older copy. And I also, at the same time, picked up a book uh, about Gwendolyn McEwen's life, a Toronto poet. So, a uh, very curious shop. Once saw a black cat in the window where all the teacups and strange stuff are. <laughs> 